Hello, I'm Robert Webb, and this is David Mitchell's BAFTA 60 Second Challenge. Are you ready for your challenge? I am. What is the hardest thing about your job? Um, the, the, the doubt. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Which was the most challenging character you've ever played? I haven't, I haven't done any challenging no, characters. You don't do it. Oh, no, in Shakespeare, because the words are funny. Oh, you did. You did that once. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know about you. He was in a Shakespeare play. Y yes, I was in a Shakespeare play at university. He was very good. What is the last thing you do before you go out on set? Um, I uh, put my phone onto aeroplane, as I insist on calling it. Very aeroplane. Aeroplane. Aero what advice would you give your 16-year-old self? Oh, panic more. Get it together. Come on. Chop, chop. Yeah. Um, if but you also, don't attach too much guilt to masturbation. Uh, who's the unsung hero on a set? Uh, oh, the, the third AD who has to deal oh, with the yeah, extras. Oh, that's a horrible job, isn't yeah, it? But why now, why some... about a person who has to stop the traffic and say, oh, sorry, can you stop driving to where you want to go because we're filming? Yeah, that's, that's bad. Yeah. What do you look for in a role? Uh, the uh, <laughs> Someone who is willing to l allow me to play it and pay me, therefore. Excellent. That is the end of that. Yeah. What's the secret to success? Uh, money. You have to pay people to like you. Uh, sum up your job in three words. I can do it in one word. Storyteller. Well, that's three syllables, or might be four. I can't count anymore. Uh, who's the unsung hero on a set? Uh, I would say it's the donut buyer. Uh, what advice would you give your 16-year-old self? Uh, calm down. Uh, what's the best bit of advice you've ever been given? Uh, stop, for heaven's sake, stop doing what you're doing. But I ignored it. Uh, which three people in the film, TV or games industry would you invite to a fantasy dinner party? Uh, I would invite Gumball, Darwin and Sigmund Freud. Uh, hang on, six seconds must be up. What's your favourite line from a film or TV show? Uh, it is uh, the noises that were made at, on the phone in Stop the Pigeon. Uh, and none of them were actually uh, comprehensible, so I can't do them now. We're done. Oh. <laughs> My brain was starting to explode. Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, and this is my BAFTA 60 second challenge. Go. If you were stranded on a desert island, what film, TV, box set or game would you take with you? Um, Sopranos and Game of Thrones and House of Cards and The Wire. Columbo. Um, age five, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to own the local sweet shop. And my mum said, why? And I said, because all the sweets will be free. And she went, you have to buy them first. That was my introduction to the harsh realities <laughs> of life. Um, if you could steal someone else's career, who would it be and why? Acting, Dustin Hoffman. Amazing. Been in, I think, three of my favourite movies of all time. Director, writer, Billy Wilder. Although I'd be dead now. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Um, what's the one piece of advice you'd give to your 16-year-old self? Keep being an idiot. It'll be your fortune one day. And take that job in the office. It, it turns out really well. That was my 60-second challenge. Did I win? What do I win? I want a BAFTA. If you were stranded on a desert island, what film, stroke TV, box set or game would you take with you? At the moment, I'd take Game of Thrones. That's very easy. I'm about to see season three. Who's the unsung hero on a set? Sound recorder's got the hardest job on set. No one gives them any, any time and they are totally unappreciated. Which accent do you find it hardest to do? I think all accents are sort of hard to do. I think the thing is to try and find your own accent in the accent. That's my excuse. What film, TV programme most influenced you? I know that was Morecambe and Wise. Aged five, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be an astronaut um, because they just landed on the moon uh, two years before. Who do you most admire in your field? I think Will Ferrell is the greatest comedy actor that has ever lived. Looking back now, what do you see 
as your big break. That was definitely meeting Alexander Armstrong. That turned out well for me. <laughs> Who's your guru? Uh, Woody Allen. Who should play the next James Bond? Oh, it's funny. I quite like the kind of thuggy kind of James Bond. You know, the James Bond in the books. So Tom Hardy, maybe? It's all gone. You go for it. Who's the first person you make friends with on set? The cameraman. Yeah. It has to be. Looking back now, what do you see as your big break? Uh, well, actually, it was probably in 2009 we did uh, an Edinburgh show. And our first Edinburgh show was Cardinal Burns. What's the most devious thing you've done to get a part in a film? <laughs> Kill someone. Um, really? Yeah, no, I did. Oh. If you were stranded on a desert island, what film, TV, box, box set or game would you take with you? Angry Birds. Um, I would take uh, True Detective. Which part do you wish you'd had the chance to play direct? Recently, that Leonardo DiCaprio and Wolf of Wall Street, that would have been quite a fun role. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. Which accent do you find the easiest, hardest to do? Uh, I can't, I find that Welsh. Welsh is hard. Uh, age five, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, Interior designer. I said to my mum, a chicken or a doctor. A chicken or a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name's Danny Wallace and I'm about to take the BAFTA Guru 60 second challenge. I heard that when Bernard Cribbins did it, he managed nine. Let's see. Here we go. Start. Who do you make friends with first on set? Um, well, I suppose the producer or the director is a good start, but you should be friends with everybody, including all the runners. That's very important because they do a lot of work, but also they're the directors or producers of tomorrow. Next question. What three things do you need to do on your job? Um, think fast, work fast, and try and be funny. Next question. If you could have any other job on set, what would it be and why? Um, on set, my gosh. Uh, Floor managing always seems quite nice to me. Um, you're sort of in charge, but in a very cool way. You're, sort of, you're, like, you're like a director, but without that awful sense of responsibility. Next question. Which film or TV program has most influenced you? Uh, probably the day today on BBC Two. Next question. Age five, what did you want to be when you grew up? A uh, stuntman or one of the 18? Next question. Who should play the next James Bond? You're looking at him. Next question. Looking back now, what did you see as your big break? Um, probably working for Sega Power magazine when I was 15 and I got free video games games. Next question. Time's up. Did I beat Cribbins? Eight! Ah, yes. oh, Cribbins! Who should play the next James Bond? Someone actually called James Bond. Which superpower would help you do your job better? I don't know, but I quite like to be able to fly just a little bit above the ground. Not totally in the air, but just, just a little bit above the ground. That'd be quite nice. Um, how did you get an agent? Ooh, um, well, I did lots and lots of comedy and then I went and asked a dramatic agent if they'd be my agent even though I'd done lots of comedy which is a bizarre way of getting a good agent and she is good. Uh, which part do you wish you'd had the chance to play or direct? Uh, I don't work that way, I just uh, like the ones I've got, it's, it's all cool. What three things do you need to do your job? Uh, determination, determination, determination. Uh, what's the most devious thing you've ever done to get a part in a film? Ooh, to get a part in a film. Uh, I haven't done anything devious but I did go along uh, on Velvet Goldmine to audition for one part and I, I said, I don't want an audition for that, I'll audition for another part. And uh, Todd Haynes said yes. Who do you first make friends with on set? The first actor that I bump into, I'll say hello to, and then uh, say, should we go and introduce ourselves to everyone else? Would you rather work with children or animals? Well, I've worked with both and I can safely say neither. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you on a set? Things have fallen on me in the past and injured me quite horrifically. I've been blown up and drowned. What's the one piece of advice you would give to your 16-year-old self? Make sure you're original. Which superpower would help you do your job better? Well, I'm pretty good at remembering lines. I'm very good, but I'd really like to have a photographic memory. Then I could concentrate more on the acting. <laughs> Do you have any lucky charms that you take with you on set? I've got a pair of lucky cufflinks, but I don't take them on set with me. Um, I'll probably take a, a, a lucky comb to brush my hair with, but I just made that up. This is Rob Delaney. That's Sharon Horgan. And um, we're in a show called Catastrophe. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask some questions to each other from this bowl for um, the fine folks at BAFTA. Maybe answer them. We'll see. Which part do you wish you'd had the chance to play stroke direct? 
I just saw a picture of Anthony Hopkins on the wall here at BAFTA. Oh, there uh -huh. he is right there. It would be fun to play Hannibal Lecter or <laughs> the killer, James Gum. Anything in the Silence of the Lambs. I thought you were gonna say uh, Don Draper in Mad Men. <laughs> okay. What's the first thing you do when you come off a long shoot? Um, I cry. Mm -hmm. I worry about everything I've just filmed. And then I start learning for the next day. What has been your most difficult project? That's hilarious. Absolutely, catastrophe what we just shot because- It's been a nightmare. No, not that it hasn't, it's been a dream, but it's been a difficult dream because we bled into it. Like we made what we wanted to make, you know? That's true. And so we're wholly responsible for it. And I would do it again in one second. Who should play the next James Bond? Idris Elba, of course. Okay, now you should have said me. <laughs> not that I want to do that. Oh my gosh, but I should have said But only because that would be good for you. I if know. I got I mean, how much- No, you... no, that would be terrible for me. It'd if you're terrible. James Bond, then you're like, see ya, bye, Sharon no who? No way! Yes, you oh, would. Oh, you kidding me? Look, when this elevator- You wouldn't even make me a Bond look. girl. You wouldn't even make me a, no, you wouldn't. I'd love to see all the James Bond purists mm -hmm. and all the not very nice people that would be fun. get angry if they give to Idris Elba. <laughs> Plus he's super harsh, right? He sure is. I'm David Mitchell and this is Robert Webb's BAFTA 60 Second Challenge. Ready? Yes. Okay, first question. Who's your guru? Who's your guru? You are. Thank you. How do you spend breaks during filming? Masturbation. Uh, what's the hardest thing about your job? Uh, working with David Mitchell but while he was really trying to go out with Victoria Corrin, but she wouldn't have it. Yeah, fair enough. How do you combat nerves? Um, I forget about it and think about all the less fortunate people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which was the most challenging character you've played? Um, challenging? Well, we, we do okay. nice comedies, not uh, like we stories about yeah, horrible, no, challenging no, people. None of it's been challenging. In the movie of your life, who would play you? Mark Hamill. <laughs> um, As he is now. Yeah. What part do you wish you'd had the chance to play? Uh, Mark Corrigan. Mark Corrigan, thank you. Um, what's the best bit of advice you've ever been given? I don't think I've been given any sensible advice at that all. That was my sensible advice to say Mark Corrigan just right. then. Was um, it that? Being told to say Mark Corrigan in order to make this over. Yeah. This is over. <laughs>